back, let me root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Well, good afternoon and welcome to the James Arnold Mansion. Uh, this home was built by Sarah and James Arnold in 1821 from land that was bought from her father's estate, which is a little bit south of here, currently known as the Roach Jones Duff House. It was originally 11 acres, loaded with greenhouses and gardens and a shell grotto that she had. You were standing in the original part of the home, which was expanded later on. The two fireplaces here, uh, in this the foyer and the reading room, our original marble that was sent back from uh, the Arnold's three-year European vacation. Okay. Along with a bust of James Arnold of white marble, which is found in the New Bedford Free Public Library. Okay. This home uh, in the spring will also hopefully be home to the New Bedford Glass Museum. Okay. And on our tour today, we have the director and many examples of Mount Washington and Pierpoint glass that he has there. And then on our tour today, our third floor, you meet William J. Roach, who is my nephew, and the second owner of the home. The home was deeded to him after James died. Uh, he was the last remaining of the Arnolds, as Sarah and their daughter preceded him in death in the same year. That was Will to William J. Roach, who ended up being uh, mayor of the city, and then with his large crew of eight children, moved here and expanded the home, adding the third floor and the mansard roof. folks. For those of you who recognize me today, I happen to be William Roach, the <laughs> second owner of this house. You know, I wake up in the morning, I never know who I'm going to be. Uh, but today I'm William Roach. Um, I inherited the house from my aunt and uncle. I think quite possibly you met uh, Aunt Sarah downstairs in the way out. But it wasn't until uh, Uncle James died in 1868 that I was able to uh, inherit the house. Now, the house was too small, believe it or not, for my large family. And so we remodeled and they added this whole third floor. Now, in the 1870s, one of the popular styles here in New Bedford was uh, the French Second Empire style. And those usually had mansard roofs, which this is. And what a mansard roof is, and take a look at the house from the outside. So the exterior p uh, roof pitch is a very steep pitch on the outside with almost a flat roof on top. Not quite flat, but almost a flat roof. And what that allows is when rooms are put inside, they can be built up as high and as wide out as possible, making no eaves up here on the second floor, uh, third floor. Um, so it gives maximum amount of living space in here. So most people think that the upper floors are servants' or children's rooms. Well, this was definitely family rooms. It's, uh, it's all appointed, the architecture, all the detail of the doors and windows, as if it was the rest of the house. And it's got a, a center feature is the marble fireplace. If this was children or servants rooms, it would not have any of those details. As a matter of fact, children's rooms probably, or even servants, wouldn't even have heat in them. With children, they kind of pile them all in the same bed and put a stack of quilts on and let them keep themselves warm. Um, and, uh, but that wasn't the case for these rooms. These are definitely family rooms that, that are up here. Uh, the room is all furnished as if I was here in the 1870s, all period antiques, although none of them are original to the house or to myself. A couple uh, things that we are pointing out here, up in the top corner, that glass ewer up on the little shelf, and the glass base that's in the corner cabinet are both Mount Washington. Um, and uh, as I think you've been told, um, that I was a major stockholder in, making, in bringing Mount Washington glass here to New Bedford, so the house would have been filled with Mount Washington glass. And that Mount Washington eventually merged with Pearpoint, um, both of them making the finest glass uh, available. As a matter of fact, it put New Bedford on the map when it came to the glass making industry as, as a major uh, industry uh, leader throughout not only the United States but pretty much the entire world when it came to the quality glass that was uh, produced here in New Bedford. 
Um, on the mantle, uh, we have a stereo optic that take a chance to look through the lenses. Um, it's really the first form of uh, 3D photography that's out there. It's kind of the really the original precursor to the um, the viewfinders mm -hmm. uh, that I think some of you might have had as kids. I don't yeah. know. I've never seen one. I've never had the opportunity to play with them, but maybe you know what those they are. But sort of the uh, the precursor to uh, to that. The Wom Center Club uh, really started as a baseball organization. When baseball was being formulated, formulated here in the United States, um, there's the Wom Center Baseball Club. And it was uh, also a, a private men's business organization that all the movers and shakers of New Bedford's industry were pretty much all members of the Wom Center Club. Um, and they would have their meetings here, the late night meetings, they all pretty much had some you know, rooms to rent. So after their late night meetings of drinking scotch and smoking cigars and not wanting to go home to the wife wherever the home happened to be, they would come up here, sleep for the night, change, get showered, and head into the office the next morning. So it's kind of slightly reverted back to that. The James Arnold Mansion, who now uh, runs the, the building, has uh, gone back to renting some of these uh, rooms as private residences. This is one of them. This is furnished by the tenant uh, who's now renting uh, this particular room um, with all their furnishings. So it's really their private residence that they have. So there's, I think, five on this floor, five on the, the floor below us. Uh, so it's really fortunate that we've never really had an opportunity to to get into the mansion, and, and I, hopefully that it's a nice feature. Um, so with that, I, I'm going to conclude my tour. If you're continuing your tour, I hope you enjoy the rest of it. If, if you've already done all the tour, I'm glad you, thank you for coming. And uh, hopefully, see you all next year. All right, thank you so much. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Right. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Well, it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball.